Hi everybody, so this is going to be the first lesson I do on the IA and in this video I'm just going to introduce it, explain what it is and what's it all about. In the following lessons I'm going to go, well I'm going to do one lesson on, on each criterion. Um, I'm going to do lessons on how to choose a topic, I'll do layout, how to create models, I'm going to do a lot of videos. So firstly let's just go through this, what is going on. Also at the end of this video I'm going to show you an IA just to kind of give you an idea of what we're dealing with. So firstly, it is a short 12 to 20 pages written report. Okay, 12 to 20 pages. That's a guide. It doesn't have to be between 12 and 20 pages. But probably if it's like seven or eight pages is too short. And if you start getting 20 and 20 pages plus, it gets it can get a bit long and boring. However, I have seen perfectly good uh, uh, 22 page IAs and I've seen excellent 9 and 10 page IAs so uh, it's, that's just something to bear in mind. It is the same for applications and analysis you're both doing the same IA. The only difference between standard level and higher level is difference in criterion E so A, B, C and D the criteria are exactly the same uh, um, word for word, the descriptors are the same. Criterion E, they're not. Now, I will go through in detail what I mean by that, or what, what those differences are in that video for Criterion E. It is an individual piece of work, so you're doing it on your own, you're not doing it in groups. Um, every student has their own IA. The topic is chosen by the student, so you choose the topic, so choose a good one. It is word processed, yeah, and actually I should say I'm, I'm, I will do I have two videos where I explain in detail how to how to go about choosing a topic. Word processed, so I've written recommended there because it doesn't have to be. You can actually you can actually handwrite it. However, in my opinion, definitely they look better when they're word processed. And and even further on that point, I much prefer Microsoft Word to either Pages or Google Docs, like the the equation editor on Microsoft Word just looks a lot better, so I'd highly recommend that. I have seen IAs where where students actually take a picture or screenshot of kind of rough work that they've been doing on with a pen and paper or little sketches or drawings to kind of show that add like add personal engagement or add um, a bit of personality to the IA, and that can look pretty good. So dep depending how you do that, that's possible. But generally, you're you're doing it. Um, with a word processor. It's worth 20% of the overall grade. Now, that's, well, 20% is 20%. You may think that's not a lot, or you may think that is a lot, but whatever you think, trust me when I say the IA is really valuable. I've had, I give this example a lot, but I have many of these types of examples. I've had a student who got a three in his paper one, a standard level student, a three in his paper two, and he got a five overall because his IA was a seven. Now it was a high seven and his paper one and paper two were high threes, but still that just shows you what 20% is worth. Now I've similarly had the opposite, a student who got sevens, he should have got a seven in his paper, uh, well he did get a seven in his paper one, he should have got a seven overall and ended up with a six because his IA wasn't that good. So well, it was good, it was a six, but to get a seven, you really need a strong IA. So. Look, whatever grade you're hoping to get, trust me when I say the, um, you need a good IA to get there. And also, it's a fantastic opportunity to do well because often students who, who really struggle with um, math and, and maths exams, this is a great opportunity for you to do well because the main thing it requires is effort and dedication and the willingness to sit down and actually put in the put in the hours to get it done and getting following on from that point I've written here 20 hours minimum so that's kind of that's just me uh, giving you a guide of how long this is going to take it's going to take 20 hours and what I mean by 20 hours is 20 hours on your own at home working on this so in addition to those 20 hours we're talking about all the time you, you do it you spend it in class and whatever time you spend with your teacher dealing with it so it takes time and effort but it's worth it if you want a good grade. So you get one draft with written feedback provided. So that draft, um, you will hand it into your teacher, your teacher will, will mark it and give you feedback. Now, 
it is essential that you give a good first draft. If you give a uh, bad first draft, you will get bad feedback. I once had a student who, who gave me one page, and it wasn't even a page, it was like half a page of an introduction. It was nothing. And the feedback I had to give him was literally one line, do your IA. There's nothing else I could have said. Um, so the better the, the better the first draft, the better the feedback you will get. Now, you're only, you only get one draft with written feedback. However, there's no rule that says you can't discuss anything with your teacher. So I encourage my students, come and, and annoy me as much as possible. Ask me questions. What do you think of this? Will this work? Does this look good? Etc. Etc. et cetera. Um, yes, I'm only going to take it in and mark it and give you proper written feedback once, but I, I can give you plenty more feedback um, just by answering your questions. Next thing, it is marked by your teacher and moderated by the IB. Now that's important. A lot of students think they just think they're trying to impress the IB. No, you're trying to impress your teacher. Your teacher's the person marking it. The IB moderated to make sure your teacher knows what he's doing, but your teacher's the person you're trying to impress. So try and impress your teacher. If your teacher says, um, if your teacher says, don't do, don't do that, that's a terrible idea, and then you do it, well, that's not going to impress your teacher and no doubt your teacher isn't going to be too happy with it. Um, and last point, it is marked against five criteria. Now, as I say, I will go through these five criteria in detail in the next videos, but they are A, presentation, B, mathematical communication, C, personal engagement, D, reflection, and E, mathematics. And if you add up all of these points, you get, you guessed it, 20. So each point here is worth a percent in your overall grade. Now that's big because a mark, like a mark here is worth a percent. A mark in your paper one or paper two or paper three in HL is not worth a percent. Because remember, you have 90 marks going for 40% in SL. So that doesn't translate to a mark a percent. It translates to 2.25 two and a quarter marks to get 1%. So these are the most valuable marks that you're gonna do. Okay, that's the intro to the IA. I just want to show you now an IA. Now, I'm not showing you this IA for any reason other than I want you to see an IA, and I think this is a good, if I had to pick one IA just to show you, I think this is quite a good one. Um, a nice one to show you. I'm not going to tell you how well it did or I'm not going to grade it because I'm actually going to do that in another video. I'm going to gr we're going to grade it together. Uh, I think that's a very useful exercise. I'm going to get you to grade it first and then I'll go through um, the grade the grades it actually got. Um, and remember you can do that with your IA at any point. You can actually grade your own IA and it's actually easier than you think to grade an IA. Okay, um, this is the IA I want to show you. So you see here there's an introduction, talks about his aims, what's he gonna do, investigation now. This is what he's doing. He's He's gone to ski Dubai. This is where we go skiing in the desert. And he's taken a video of him doing a snowboard jump. And he's gonna model that. He's learned how to use a new maths program. And he's modeled it and he's got a quadratic. And then with the quadratic, he's gonna do a lot of maths do a few different things, bit of calculus, bit of this, bit of that, reflect on it, um, talk about different things, then he's going to do a trick. I think his aim is to find out why he can do a trick, a particular trick with one jump and not with another jump. Um, does a bit more maths, few equations, look, look, this looks good, writing on the left, equations in the middle, um, reflection part two, Reflection part three, that's his failed attempt. That's his successful attempt. So that's the one he was able to do the trick. And then go down here, bit of bit of talking and then a conclusion. That's that's an IA. Um, now I'm aware when you first see an IA like that, that looks kind of scary. You're like, hang on, there's no way I can do that. But you can, trust me, everyone's in the same, in the same boat. Um, and there's absolutely no reason why everyone can't do this type of IA if they're willing to put the effort in. Now, this is a, look, this is a good IA, great, great, um, great topic, 
and quite personal. Look, if you think talking about personal engagement, the fact he's gone to Ski Dubai and done this, that's great. You don't have to do something like that. You don't have to go and do something yourself, but it's a it's an idea. And I'll talk more about that kind of thing and different ideas in that next um in the next videos where I'm gonna do choosing a topic.